Uh, but first, we're starting with Madonna, who's postponed her world tour after being rushed to intensive care with a bacterial infection. Thankfully, though, um, it is expected that she'll make a full recovery. Um, apparently, her family are worried that she believes she's invincible and has been pushing herself really hard the past few months. Kelly, that's something you're quite <coughs> used to hearing in terms of people being worried about you pushing yourself too hard. Do you ever actually listen to them? <laughs> Not too much, um, but I think it's important. So, like, past two, three years, I really have had lots of illnesses. You know what I mean? I had the double COVID, I've just come off of something else now for two weeks, and antibiotics, and, yeah, I think um, there's a point somewhere, like, we're all... If you want to be really busy, you don't know how to then slow down or take yeah. the step back, you know what I mean? And yet, it's only when you get that impact of your ill health mm. or something that you think, gosh, maybe I have done too much. And that's the only time I listen to myself, probably. So it's not great. And I, I think that um, I had a burnout. So, and the burnout I had, I had to take 10 months off of work. And this was a couple wow. of years ago. And it's because I think some people work because of distractions. Like, I want to stop a constant narrative that was going in my head, so I had to work just to kind of avoid that silent space. Mm -hmm. But then that's no good. It's no, no good for our health at but all. We're talking about it now, yeah. and, you know, you've just come off the antibiotics, because you really haven't been well the past few weeks. Yeah. Has that been a trigger for you to sit down and go, do you know what, I need to take some time out for myself and actually <sighs> breathe and take a moment? Or yeah. are you ignoring your own body no. still? <laughs> well... Um, you don't stop! No, no I don't know to you, but... Um... <laughs> I think as well, if I may say with you, maybe, yeah. because since your documentary, mm. your life has just become so much more open. You're living your true self, as they say, and I think yeah. your opportunities are so exciting as a... As, as, as a person and a new life, isn't it? That you're just grabbing anything. Yeah, but I do think because... Uh, you're right, absolutely right, but I think because of the burnout, I am more aware, I suppose, of my health. So I did start off at the beginning of the year with the whole focus on health. Yeah. You know, taking time out, going for more massages, <clears throat> taking a, making a date in the diary that I'm actually going to do nothing. And then you just get on that treadmill again. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the worst thing. But I do think, you know, I should practice what I preach because I tell everyone about having me time. You know... You, every, you do tell people yeah. that a lot. Yeah, I, I do. Like, take 20 minutes out of your day And when's your you. 20 minutes? Well, mine's actually in my bath, so I actually do do it. Oh, so okay. I, I, <laughs> I love a bath. <laughs> and a candle. With a candle, some music, and it's non-negotiable. So I do okay. think maybe I give myself it. Maybe, yeah. maybe I just need it. Linda, oh, how about I... you and, and me time and people telling you? Well, to I bought Linda down. a little present for her me time. I don't know whether she's used Ooh. to it. <laughs> <laughs> Friend, isn't it? I've had to hide it from the grandchildren. <laughs> um, no, I don't really have a lot of me time. I like looking after people. Um, and I have noticed, like, health-wise, that, I mean, I've had a couple of accidents on my knees. So I did celebrity coach trip. Me and Leslie did it probably about 18 months ago. And I fell on my knees and really, really hurt my knees. Um, and then... Can you I'll... tell people that... You didn't know it was an election. No, that was a different one. That was a different one. That was a different one. And then I went away with my sister and my nephews and all their kids and everything, and they were on a scooter. So he went to me, do you want to go have a scooter? I went, yeah, lovely. So I got up and I do, you know, look, you're doing the scooter, that. And then I turned the handle and it was electric. <laughs> <laughs> so I run over my nephew's girlfriend's leg. What? I ended up on my knees with my bottom in the air, my dress <laughs> over my head. <laughs> And a big pair of black knickers so everyone <laughs> in the restaurant could see it. Oh, my... And nobody you... videoed it. <laughs> nobody! <laughs> but you did just um, land on your knees, didn't you, I landed on my knees that? and they've never been the same now. So, walking up the stairs here, I have to use that, the, the, the okay. rail. But all like, of that stuff has happened. Have you been to get help? No, and... not yet. I haven't had time. No, because I'm if it was something life-threatening, I would be at the doctor no, straight but away. No, it can be... It can be... Because I'm like admitting... Just yeah. age and arthritis and whatever. I've, I've got arthritis on my feet as well. I lay in bed twiddling <laughs> my feet every night. Trying, yeah. It's just when you get old, isn't it? But in my head, I'm still 50. No, so, in my no. head, I think I can ride an electric scooter, but my body's saying, no, you can't, Linda. <laughs> Listen <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> yeah, you've <laughs> got to find out it's electric before you... Yeah, 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 yeah basically, it's the lessons you've learned there. But you need to go and get those knees sorted. All right, What about you? Yeah, I mean, I exactly the same. You know, trying to see friends and, you know, um, going to just on a little away weekend with my friends the other day was so lovely where well, you were going to come and then you couldn't yeah. at the last minute. And it was... Um, because we're all so busy, the trouble is with me is that when I do have downtime, it's so down that I, I'll, have, I'll have a day and I literally can get up in the morning and then lie on the settee 
all day, yeah. all day watching rubbish television. And honestly, if I had a bedpan, I wouldn't even go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it, I am very, 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 very good at relaxing. I just don't do it an, an, enough. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think I'm a little bit like you yeah. with the fact that sometimes too much downtime, the noises in the... Um, the noise is in your head. It's better yeah, to stay. to just keep active Just sort of to keep active. I think keep I'm missing active. out on things sometimes. I you know do. What I mean? There and is a sort of FOMO element keep going, of, it, yeah. of, it, of it as well. And sometimes, you know, Lincoln will say to me, but why have you said that you do that? And I say, I don't know. I don't know. And I also have a problem with and I know you have this, of managing other people's expectations of yeah, what's yeah. expected of you and then thinking, we all have that, don't we? Thinking, why did I say that? I would yeah, do that. I but then you don't want to let people down and so you're just, you're, yeah. you know, you're but, off again. Uh, look, the message is, though, <laughs> is you have to look after yourselves both no. emotionally and physically. <laughs> yeah. And, Linda, I expect you to have made an appointment... All right, all right. ..for <laughs> the X-ray by the time I see you again next week. Yes. That's me done telling off Linda. <laughs> <laughs>